Howdy, howdy, guys. This is your boy, Camel Me. I just wanted to show y'all guys how I am dealing with not having any uh, running water when it comes to taking baths. So uh, we'll be right back and I'll show you what I do. <laughs> All right, guys, so what you look and see in front of you right now is a little heat pot that was given to me by mom. I use it to warm water for noodles right now, and any other time I need hot water fast. It works very well, as you can see. It's pretty much boiling the water, and it does it in about five minutes. So, here's the story. The electricity works in the camper. The AC is working great. Sewer system's hooked up, it's working. But the only issue that I have, well, the only big issue that I have is running water. There is a leak somewhere in this camper, right where the water comes in at, because it leaks right up under that area, and it overflows, it starts to leak out down in here. So I don't know exactly where, there's a panel here for the, for the, the electronics they put here and I'm gonna to have to turn the water on to figure out exactly where that's coming from but I can't run the water for more than three or four minutes before it starts pouring into the camper so what I have to do is I have to go a different route remember guys I live in an RV this is a 1985 comfort light that has not been used for a while and I am basically having to do what I have to do to make sure everything is good to go so right now what you see in front of you is me warming up water and I'm warming the water up from my five gallon bucket right here now this is a five gallon bucket of water from the outside hose now because I don't have running water I have to take a shower from a five gallon bucket Boy, look at the looks on y'all faces. Calm down, calm down. This water is cold. If I get in the middle of the day where it's hot, it's warm. But by the time I'm ready to take a shower, it's already cold. So I have to warm it up. So what I do is I have a cup here that I scoop the water out into my uh, as you can see, it's coming to a nice bowl right now. And actually, I'm going to show you. Ooh, that's good and warm right there. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So I'm going to unplug it. And we're going to take the water over to, to the five-gallon bucket. And I'm going to pour it back in the five-gallon bucket. Now, it's not there yet, but it's getting there. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to warm up the water enough so that I can take a shower, a quick uh, five gallon bucket shower. And I'll explain to you guys what that is too. Now a lot of you are going, there ain't no way in hell I would do this in place of a shower. You know what guys, here's the deal. You sit there in your nice homes and your running water and electricity and there's nothing going on and everything's perfect for you. I know, I've been there, okay? When you have to do what you have to do, you will do it, okay? So here's my choices. I can hook up the water, turn it on, and run in here and take a shower and have a flood on my bathroom floor that I have to clean up. Not to mention it will be flooding the floor and probably doing damage to my floor already. Or, I can not take a shower at all. That's an option. I can drive 25 miles to somebody else's house to take a shower, or 15 miles to somebody else's house and take a shower. Or I can go 12 miles up the road to a campsite 
in a campsite bathroom and pay $1.75 to take a shower. Or, or, now here's the crazy one. I can take a five gallon bucket, fill it up with water, pour the water into a heating source, heat up the water. It takes about three or four, about four or five scoops. And once I've done that, the water's warm enough for me to take a shower. Uh, well, a five gallon bucket bath, shower, whatever you want to call it. And the way this works is that I would come over here to the shower and bring the bucket over there with me and I would take my cup, I dip the water and I basically wet myself all over. Okay? Get myself soaking wet and then I take the soap and lather myself down. Okay? Get myself all lathered down, wash my hair, all that stuff. And then I take my cup again, and then I just keep out of my bucket, and I rinse myself off really good. Once I rinse myself off really good, I step out, I dry off, and I'm done. The whole process probably takes me about 10 minutes, okay? It is the exact same thing. The water coming out of that bucket is the same water that will be coming out of that faucet right there onto me in a warm state if I were to use the hot and cold options down here. It is no different guys, it is simply in a bucket using a cup to wet myself so I can take a bath, shower, whatever you want to call it. So that's how I'm currently right now taking in showers. Now like I said tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and take a look at the leak. I'm going to show you guys the leak, actually. I'll do, I'll do some film. This will be the next part of this. I'll shoot some film and, and, and see if I can find it. And if I can find it, I'll show it to you guys. And, and if any of you guys out there see something that you think is the problem in this part of the video, uh, the next part will actually show you where it's leaking, please let me know. I mean, I don't know anything about plumbing. Um, so I'm kind of going into just blind tomorrow. I've been putting it off for a few days. But I definitely uh, will take all of your uh, your suggestions seriously because I don't know. Um, so thanks very much, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. It's your 